Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and I'm here with Sissy Nickel, and she is from Candlelight Cove Assisted Living and Memory Care Community. Correct. Care Community. You okay, help me there. <laughs> um, I know you guys are going to be at the Senior Summit, and I want to talk about that. But first, I want to talk about where you're located, what you offer, things that are coming up. I know you mentioned that you're going to have an event coming up, but tell us first about where you're located. Okay, so we're located in Easton, Maryland, right behind the um, Easton Memorial Hospital. So we're tucked right away there in a beautiful, tranquil, tree-lined area right behind the hospital in Easton, Maryland. Um, we have um, assisted living, uh -huh. we have um, memory care, and we actually offer two different levels of memory care, early onset and uh, earlier onset and advanced. And we also have a, an area where we have special needs. And what's unique about that area is that we are able to provide um, care for people who are much more physically frail. And that allows people to age in place, which is really important. In other words, once they get to a point where they need more attention, yeah. they don't have to move. So yeah. it's really nice that they can stay there in their home. Right. Now, you guys just did an addition, right? We did. Um, it, it took, uh, you know, actually quite a while. It was about a year and a half, and a okay. um, year to a year and a half. And we added on um, 32 additional apartments. Okay. What's great about that is that we've added um, some common living, living areas. We have a beautiful living, air, living room with a fireplace and an aviary, which is really great. Um, we have a library um, that has a computer lab, which provides Skype and um, the ability for them to access the internet. And we have a act dedicated activities room, which is a, a great flexible space for all different types of activities, um, a dining room. But what's nice about the apartments that we've added is that we have the only one bedroom apartments in the market for assisted living, which is nice for couples to be able to come and live together in, um, in our facilities. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Now, do the apartments have a kitchen, I mean, or do they just eat in the common dining area? Well, our kitchens, every single kitchen in our, in the new section of our community has a kitchenette, which does give them some flexibility. So we do provide three fabulous meals a day uh -huh. um, and snacks, uh, but it does give them the opportunity to keep maybe uh, something that we don't offer that is, is you know, particular to what they are interested in, um, you know, a snack or, or specific beverages or things like that, and a microwave. So it's okay. It's a sink, some cabinetry. Um, so if I wanted to make freezer. popcorn in my room, I could yes. stick it in the microwave, and mm -hmm. and that's a very common thing. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I know we do that a lot. Yeah. So, that's yeah. Great. So tell us about the event you have coming up down there. So um, we, we have lots of different events, social events and educational events that we offer to our residents, but as the, the community as a whole. And there's a two-part series that we're offering that we're very excited about that's going to be available in June. And um, the 15th of June is a panel that we're having with a group of um, sort of senior providers that will uh, speak and answer questions about um, all of the things that seniors really need to be thinking about, uh, really all of us need to be thinking about in terms right. of planning for our future, our long-term future. Uh, so there will be somebody who represents the legal community, the financial community, um, somebody from the Department of Aging, um, answering questions about if you um, had to, you know, we all have to plan and, and in the planning process, if there was just one thing that you needed to do, for example, legally, what would that thing be? So that people are making sure that they're preparing for their future. Unfortunately, um, we, none of us do a great job about it because we think we've got time. Right. You know. Right. I know you so. mentioned like power of attorney and things like that, and yeah, you know, it's never too soon to think about some of those things. I know my friend asked me about if I did an advanced directive, and I just haven't bothered. I think, oh, I have time, right. and it's never too soon. No, that's true. I mean, anything can happen to anybody at any oh, time. Yeah. And to be able to have somebody who really is aware of what your wishes are is important. Um, the financial planning, insurance, um, all of those different pieces, you know, what resources are available should something happen. Um, unfortunately, in um, in my business, what happens is people don't just come to my community and say, hey, it's Saturday and I just feel like going and touring an assisted living community. They usually come because they're in a crisis. Something yes. has occurred. 
So doing everything that you can to be prepared for that and planning for that, um, including just coming to some of the different activities that we have um, just to kind of get a feel for the environment and what is offered. Um, the second part of the series, which is on the 21st, uh, is the different types of long-term care that um, are available and what who would be appropriate for each one of those levels of care. And it's also a panel discussion. So somebody would be represented from the hospital, somebody would be represented from skilled, assisted living, um, home care, uh, physical therapy, all those things that uh, we hope that we don't need, but we may need at some point. And oh, yeah. when we do, who's appropriate for those, those different places. Now, how's the best way for someone to get in touch with you if they want to come down and look at the um, rooms or activities going on and that type of thing. We invite um, people to come and take a tour. They get a private tour and we're happy to have them have lunch or breakfast or whatever they would like to have as far as a meal goes and just kind of tour around and take a look. They can give me a call at 410-770-9707 um, and they can really even just pop in. We prefer to have notice so that we can be prepared right. for them. Right. But they can just always pop in as well. And sometimes that's a great way to just get a, um, a surprise visit and, and kind of see how things are going um, when someone pops in. Okay, now um, May 19th is the Senior Summit. It's here in Centerville at the 4-H Fair Park. And um, you guys will have a table out there? Yes, we're actually um, a bronze sponsor and that event is always so amazing. There's so much energy. Um, we see people walking around from the Red, Red Hat uh, group um, and all different you know, walks of life, but it's so much energy. The seniors are all excited. There's lots of different things that are taking place there um, at the event. Um, I heard that there's gonna be a, some vintage cars which sounds really fun. We are gonna be offering a giveaway for people who sign up. Um, we will be giving away a flat screen TV. Okay. So we encourage people to stop by, but we also have floor plans um, and a um, master plan of our community that people can take a look at to see what we've done for the expansion. And we will have a virtual tour available on a laptop so they can take a look um, at the actual finished product to see what it looks like online. But it's, it's not the same, it doesn't replace the visit, but we hope that they'll stop by the booth and, and see what we're, all the exciting things that are happening I with know, our growth. I know things change. Um, your new area is probably filled up. It's not quite filled up. Okay. Um, one of the things that we did in advance was we took deposits okay. um, ahead of time and we're still moving those people in and then um, of course in the meantime taking additional deposits but we we have a very quick timeline about two weeks to move people in um, as far as you know if somebody has an immediate need we can certainly place people but it is it's a beautiful environment and I, the thing that I'm most proud of about what we have to offer is the care. Um, we believe if it's a great place to work, it'll be a great place to live. And we have an amazing team of people. Everybody can have a beautiful building right. and offer great activities and food and all those things. But it's the people yeah. who make the a interaction. difference. Yeah. Really if you, and it was the same way in the classroom. You know, children knew when teachers cared about them and their education or if it was just a job. Right. And it's the same way in a facility like you're working in that, you know, if it's just someone there that's a job right. and not about the people, it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. It's, it's, a great, it's a great environment and you can really feel that when you walk in. Well, we thank you for your input and, and you. letting us know what's going on and hopefully if people you know are checking because there are different places around to look at and and I hope when people get to that stage that they actually come in and see what's going on and Absolutely. can can look at the compassion that's there I appreciate that. Yeah, we really hope that they come by before they, they actually need to just come visit and, and we would love to take them around and, and let them see. And thank you, Bonnie. You're always so great. I appreciate oh, it. I, yeah. Well, it's, it's dear to the heart because I know that we go into different places and, and you can tell when someone cares and when they don't. It's true. So, you can feel it. And, and it's frustrating for my husband and I because we, as volunteers, you can't do some things. Right. But... You, you just find someone that can help. That can help, yeah. Well, the work that you do is amazing, too, so I appreciate that. You can tell it's you not, care. It's, it's, it's a service. It's not work to us. It's, it's a way to serve one another. Yeah, it's important. 
Well, thank, thank you for you. coming in. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you. Are you going to be at the table at the I summit? I will be at the table. Looking forward to it. Okay. Yeah, great. Thank see you. See you there. Thanks. See you there.